वेलकम टू माई वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रिंग बफर एंड स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर विच आर नथिंग वट ए म्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो हैव ए लुक एट द टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वी हैव डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस सेशन सो देर आर टू मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वन इज म्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग एंड अनदर इज इम्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग वी ऑलरेडी हैड इनफ डिस्कशन ऑन द इम्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग्स एंड टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट म्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग सो वी हैव टू डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन दिस म्यूटेबल कैटेगरी दोज आर स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर एंड स्ट्रिंग बफर सो म्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर दोज स्ट्रिंग्स विच कैन बी मोडिफाइड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग न्यू मैम क्रिएटिंग स्ट्रिंग एट द न्यू मेमोरी लोकेशन दे कैन बी updated at the same memory address so uh let me take you through the program to talk more on this string builder so i'm going to create here one more program so i can create multiple main classes inside the project so i'm going to talk about here mutable mutable string demo so it is strongly recommended to create a cla uh, class under a package and you can see here a warning that it's recommended that you do not place java classes in default package but anyway i have not discussed anything uh, till now about the packages so i can create a class directly here yes. so in coming series we'll add here package and then my class will be there so let's begin from the small example here i am going to create a class a string builder so this a string builder class belongs to same java dot lang package i call it sb new and it slice this a string builder object this is your string builder object i would like to pass here a default value and i make it hello now before modifying a string builder i would like to print the value for this sb print this value sb and again now try to modify this i'm going to modify this so there is a function called append and i'll put one space here and add here friends now print this done so i have done here i created here a string builder i printed this string builder i modified and again printed so this statement is i'm trying to try to modify now check the output here run this program and see this output initially it was hello and now it is updated to hello friends it means it is modified but what is the case inside memory so have a look at the memory side how it is implemented so this is your string builder object this is your string builder object and this is containing value hello so this is hello and its initial address is this triple one and sb is pointing to triple one this is how it is internally represented in memory graph now when i appended here this is your first line this is your first line when you modified this through the append method you added here hello this is friends it is added in same at the same address it means the object is modified value is updated in same memory location so you can check even uh, through the hash code you can print the hash code you can print here hash code for this sb dot hash code and i can print the same after modification so after modification you will get different hash code sorry you will get same hash code so look at this 642 642 initially it was hello and address was 642 now it is modified the values are and the value is hello friends and address will be same it means the same memory address contains new values means the object is modified but in the case of 
immutable string what happened when you try to modify a variable it is creating a new object in the case of immutable string whenever you try to modify the string either through the uppercase method lowercase method concat substring if you perform any of the method which is modifying a normal string a new object will be create, created always but in the case of mutable string the same memory address will be modified with new value the same at the same address you will get new values but address will be same so this is how we can say the object is modified and we have another implementation here to uh, work with the string builder similar to string builder we have one mo more object here so let me activate this and this is your string buffer a string buffer and a string builder both are almost same so look at the output there is no difference from the output point of view the same output you will get here initially it was hello address was 642 now it is hello friends and address is 642 means a string builder and a string buffer both are mutable objects now the point is what is difference between a string builder and a string buffers so there is a small difference in the terms of multi-threading suppose this is your a string buffer object suppose this is your string buffer object when a thread is accessing this object suppose thread 1 is accessing this object so when thread 1 is entered to execute this object it will create a lock a lock will be applied here one lock will be applied here so this is a lock this is a lock applied by thread 1 thread 1 has locked this object till its job is running now at the same time if new thread is trying to access this object it has to wait outside suppose this is your second thread trying to access the same object which is locked by T1 it has to wait outside it has to wait outside so this is this is the behavior called synchronization this is a behavior called synchronization so uh, we call it thread safe object also it is also known as thread safe object so string buffer string buffer is a thread safe object because it is not permitting multiple threads concurrently so there won't be any problem if multiple threads are accessing this object suppose t1 is uh, reading the data and t2 is trying to update the data so read and update both operation will not be performed at the same time either read will be done or update will be done so this is thread safe in concurrency in the case of concurrency and when you are performing here lock and when when someone locked this object another thread has to wait outside means when the object is synchronous it is little bit slow because you will waste your time in wait so little bit slow little slow little slow in terms of performance why it is slow because when object one when when this object is logged by thread one at the same time if some different thread is trying to access the object it has to wait outside till the first one is accessing so this waiting will waste your time and now when you are talking about the different object that is your string builder object so this string builder object will permit you to access this from multiple threads concurrently if you have two threads accessing the object they can con concurrently operate on the same object so this is perfect so this object is not thread safe the, and we call it asynchronous it's asynchronous object and also known as not thread safe why it is not thread safe because if why it is not thread safe because if thread one is reading the data 
and thread 2 is editing the data it will create the concurrency problem but if you have a concurrency kind of situation in your project we advise you to go for the uh, string buffer object and if you do not have any situation related to the concurrency problem then I advise you to go with the string builder object so a string builder object is a new uh, class added in uh, latest version of the Java and uh, this is little bit faster so in projects mostly you will not have situation for concurrency always so we always prefer to go with the string builder why because this is little fast why it is little fast because you will not waste time in wait state so all objects those are synchronous objects they are little slow and the objects which are asynchronous they are always faster than synchronous objects so depends upon the situation you have to make your decision you have to choose the objects so this is uh, this is enough for the mutability in next series we'll talk about some more objects thank you very much for watching